Well, the Merlin Falcon Foundation, um, the nonprofit, came about as um, a need for supporting uh, the Coastal Forest Merlin Project, which has been underway for 24 years now. seeing the, the value of us in our pioneering work and doing what uh, no state or federal agencies are doing in identifying you know this unique wildlife form and its survival needs on you know the Northwest landscape well I am uh, the founder um, and president currently of the Merlin Falcon Foundation but then I'm also the principal investigator for the Coastal Forest Merlin project doing the slow flutter flight. He went to the east and she agitated it perhaps at us and flew back into the nest. Uh, but everything is, you know, in pretty close proximity here so we can document these activity trees and um, it'll give us some information in terms of, you know, what some of the requirements are. Um, in addition to the nest tree, these other trees are important as well. And, the scope of uh, the project is quite large uh, when you consider the fact that basically from Seattle out to the outer coast of the Olympics um, and equally to the east in the Cascades um, through this northwest uh, quarter of the state and into British Columbia uh, nearly to the north extent and uh, we've actually done some work in southeast Alaska so as well as Vancouver Island so it's a huge area which um, given access of roads and trails and waterways um, one couldn't really adequately survey by themselves and the very nature of doing Merlin survey work is uh, most challenging so the need for networking uh, with the populace of the Northwest is um, paramount to the success of the project so, yeah, it's going to be Getting fun here as uh, more prey deliveries come in, and you know, once the young um, fledge and are on the wing around here, it'll be very lively. And that's when most people notice them. They might have missed courtship in their own backyards, but when the young are out and they're very vociferous, uh, matter of fact, some people wish they would be a little quieter, particularly early in the morning, but nonetheless, um, people become aware of them in their neighborhoods uh, or out in the forest. So, so it's a fun time to discover them. Adults are quite active this morning and uh, female not spending much time on the nest so I would suggest that uh, the uh, young have hatched. Looks like she has prey too perhaps. Maybe not, I thought I saw something there. I can see where she's... That's the male. There he is. He's perched up in the top.